just take a little dab of this out. Don't tell me it hardened up. So this is just, it's not a special Gorilla Glue, it's it just is, a regular Gorilla it Glue? It is uh, fast curing. Okay. Uh, clear. And uh, dries whiter two times faster. Okay. It, that's all the fast cure is. And all you gotta do is just take a little bit of water. Set it down up under there. And then you just mix them on up. The water is what's going to activate it. And I'll start to foam up. As you can oh, see, wow. it's starting to get white. Yeah. So when it does that, you just take, and this is where the Norweiss comes in extremely handy, is like up on the head of it. Mm -hmm. You put a little dollop onto there. And then you can just spin the head and then up here in the back. If I can get it this. And spin that just like your epoxy. And you got to be careful. I crowded the eye a little bit too much mm -hmm. on that. But it will expand and you can just rotate it a minute or two. And it will start to set up. And then once you're done having it set up or it's expanding. But how long does it take to fully set up? Uh, I l usually when I get it to this step. Mm -hmm. I take it out and I put it in one of these mm -hmm. and you can come back in a couple hours but a lot of times I'll leave it sit overnight and then you can take markers to it. Markers can work on them. But it's set up enough now it won't droop or anything? Uh, it, I think it's still, yeah it's still drooping a little bit. So like your five minute epoxy you just let it five ten minutes turn and then it'll be set enough to Yeah, to you can inside. come back in about fifteen minutes later and I mean, if you leave this thing set overnight, if you've seen the ones I've done already, they uh -huh. they expand. Well, that looks like it might be an That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. And you can you could do the whole hook if you wanted to. Since it's foam, does it float? Uh, it'll float uh, on the ant bodies I've done. Uh, when I leave it like this, once I put the hackle in the middle, uh, it'll float. And most of those are tied on a 3366, if I'm not mistaken, which is not a dry fly hook. And they float. But uh, I crowded the eye a little bit.